Hi, welcome to this edition of How To Q. I have just got done hanging this TV. We've got drywall, wood, and block behind this TV. I'm gonna show you that in a second and how I actually hung this TV. If you've got just block or if you have no studs or wood behind your drywall whatsoever, check out some of my other videos in your top right-hand corner. This one is one that I get asked about a lot, so that's why I'm making this video. Any equipment I use in this video is down in the description. All right, let's get rid of this TV. Okay, behind me is a blank wall, a blank slate, like many of you are encountering right now. What is behind this wall? Well, behind this wall is a garage that's block construction. This is a 1950s home in Phoenix, Arizona. If you've got newer construction, you probably have just studs behind here. Sometimes you don't have studs at all. Again, check out those other videos I've made on hanging TVs. But this specifically, we've got drywall with a fur strip on block. I'm gonna show you that now. All right, so I just left the living room, which is on the other side of this wall. This is the actual garage. We've got block construction home. How do they attach drywall to block? They use what's called typically a fur strip. This is a one by two piece of wood. They attach that to the wall <laughs> vertically, and then they put drywall on top of that and they put drywall screws into that piece of wood. So on the other side of this wall, I've got half inch drywall, a half inch piece of fur strip wood, and then block. So I'm gonna go through the drywall, through the wood, into the block, I'm gonna show you how I do that now. Show you, okay, before I show you how I drill into it, I'm gonna show you what kind of fastener that I'm using and why I'm using it. All right, today I'm using a sleeve anchor. This is um, not the exact one I'm using, but I just, I had an extra one lying around. This is a half inch sleeve anchor. You, you use a half inch drill bit to get it in. So the way this works is you, you drill a hole, you put this in, I'm gonna show you that obviously here in a little bit. You put this in, use a hammer, tap it into the block, which in this case, it's through the drywall and the wood and the block. And then you basically tighten down this nut and it pulls this through, expands this sleeve and therefore you wedge it into there. Another one out there is this anchor sleeve. Again, you drill the hole as wide as this is and I think this is half inch too. And this time, all you do is you actually screw the bolt into there and you can see, you can see that this expands as I'm tightening this in. That's another way to do this. I just decided to go with a sleeve anchor on this one. Okay, what you're gonna see me do today is basically use a regular drill with my drill driver, drill through the drywall and the wood. I'm gonna change this out put in a concrete drill uh, concrete drill bit. These are pretty cheap. Again, links are down in the description. Change over to my hammer drill function and use that to go through the concrete. Do you need a hammer drill? Not in this case. You can always just get, the con get a concrete drill bit, definitely. If you have a regular drill, it's just gonna take a little bit longer, but you can make it happen. So I'm gonna do that now. All right, so I select a drill on my Makita multifunction drill and I drill through the drywall into the wood. That bit's just a little bit sharper. Then I go to the hammer drill and I add the concrete drill bit. You definitely need this much thicker and heavier to get through that concrete. Here I am just using that anchor sleeve, pounding it in with not a hammer because I couldn't find one at the time. <laughs> that thing takes a lot of abuse. Okay, at this point you typically have that bolt and the washer off. You put the mount up and then put the bolt and the washer between the mount and the drywall. Use the ratchet to tighten it and you're done. And that my friends is not going anywhere. The reason I mentioned half inch drywall, half inch first strip, maybe three quarter inch block is you want to figure out how long that sleeve anchor is going to be. This one was obviously too short because you can tell it didn't even go all the way through, but it is wedged right in here and this is fine. My feet are under it and I'm not worried. <laughs> anyway, all right, let's keep moving. Now that the examples are done, now basically I'm trying to find that first strip with my Zircon stud finder. Honestly, it didn't work that great with this project. It's normally my go-to. So I went to my backup, which is the Stud Buddy, which is 
basically just a magnet. It uh, locks on to those screws that they use to attach the drywall to that first strip. Then I grab my two foot level. Definitely have a level when you're putting up a TV. I lightly mark those first strips just so I know where to drill into. So next I lay the TV on the ground, definitely use a blanket. I'm just measuring where I want to set that mount. We've got a speaker going underneath this, so I'm setting the speaker and the TV about two inches, or th actually three inches above that media center. Every mount should come with a template. Now I'm just lining up that template with the lines I drew for the first strip. I'm marking my where I want to start drilling into. Here's where those first strips are. Quick tip, there's usually a first strip or stud by an outlet, and then those are the where I'm drilling my holes. Of course, they've been leveled. Now that setup is complete, it's easy. I take that wood drill bit, drill four holes. I take my anchors. I wish they were a little smaller. They didn't fit perfectly in those slots, so I had to adjust that. Then I take my concrete drill bit, drill further into that block. I set those anchor sleeves in. I'd actually put the bolt on top of this so you don't send it through. And it actually is a good way to figure out how deep they need to go. Once those are all in, you grab your mount, throw it over it, make sure it's level. I have a socket adapter that makes quick work of tightening up these bolts or actually pulling those bolts to tighten that sleeve up against the block. A ratchet obviously works here too. I make sure, again, that it's level. Two foot level is great for this. Four foot level is even better. I make sure my son is dressed just like me and we throw up that TV and this job is done. All right, time to wrap this job up. Hopefully this answers some of the questions I invariably get on drywall on block. Honestly, when you've got drywall, wood, and concrete, or block, you've got a very sturdy surface, so it doesn't matter really where you hit. That's it for this edition of How To Q. Check out some of these videos over here. I would love for you to consider subscribing. If you've got a better way to do this, throw that in the comments. Take care, we'll see you next time.